Greetings, and today I have another deck to show for you guys today. Now this is Firesworn Zoltan. Um, there's been actually quite a few versions of this deck because this is actually very swarm heavy. Um, but the reason, but my version um, is the the diff main difference between this is I'm including the Casino Bouncers and I'm in, uh, Roche Sword included by default. And but I've actually included in, in, um, in, included Imka. So the thing with the Casino Bouncer is because I love fitting out my deck as much as I can. Um, I had to include them in there somehow. And Imka is there just kind of another source of coin income even though I'm getting plenty of coin income from Eavesdrop and from the Firesworn Scribe. So the idea behind why I made this deck like this is honestly all the other cards you're going to see in common Firesworn decks. Now the thing I don't like about this deck to be perfectly honest, is some of the cards that are in here are like, they're pretty slow. And when I say slow, like their tempo is really slow. So for example, the Eternal Fire Priest, like I need to kind of spend one turn um, just to play a three power card, unless I combo it with my leader ability to kind of boost it up to four. Um, another card would be, of course, the Fire Firesworn Scribe, which even though it does give you coin, which pretty much as long as I have a fire, at least I have one Firesworn Scribe, pretty much every time I spend a fee to um, bring in a Firesworn Zealot, it's always going to be one because I'm going to get one back. So it's, I'm only, I'm only, it only costs one. But the thing is, the Firesworn Scribes and the uh, Eternal Fire Priest, they're going to be targets for removal. So I included Imka as sort of like a tall order removal. So she's kind of, she's either going to bait out the tall removal or I'm going to get two coins per turn, which is pretty nice. Um, everything else is just kind of like what you'd find in the Firesworn Zoltan deck. So Sacred Flame, of course, for um, every time you spawn, they're just going to get more powerful. Eager the Hook for if you want to um, duplicate any of these. But again, they have to be able to survive one turn. And you either have to pay by coin or by insanity. And it's honestly, it's a tall order because paying five health or five coin is going to cost you a lot. But getting an extra base copy is going to be pretty decent. Um, summoning circles just there to get any of your um, bronze cards out should you need them. Um, so this is obviously a card that you probably want to play like early third round. And I hope that they don't have artifact removal because I know artifact removal. Like I have seen quite a few artifact removals in decks lately. Um, the Borsodi brothers, uh, they're really strong cards, so they're always going to be there. Um, the procession of penance is good for if you have full control of the board and you have it swarmed with fire sworn zealots and congregations. Kind of just you know just make sure you get more zealots out there. So that's kind of the deck. Casino bouncers for deck thin along with Roach, which is because I originally tried using Royal Decree and that didn't really work. In order for it to work, I couldn't have Zoltan and the Sacred Flame because that's just way, way, way too expensive. So everything else is just everything you'd see in a typical Firesworn deck. So that's kind of the rundown of how this deck works. It's a pretty simple deck. Um, I, I I don't have a greatest track record with it, track record with it because I haven't really played with it that much. Learning new deck like it took me a while to learn like the regular <laughs> Gwent decks. Now I have to try and learn new ones. So this is the first, I think this is the first non, um, non-syndicate deck I've, I've, I've played against in a while now. Get rid of that. And I think that'll be enough. And I am going second, so it's not that bad. This is special, so um, I've only I've mostly seen Francesca comboed with um, special cards. I don't really see it much comboed with. Um... So something tells me it's gonna have cards like the Dimeridium Shackles. I'm probably gonna see a Moon Dust in there somewhere. Milva. So uh, something tells me if I do play one of these cards, they're gonna get hard removed. Like some, I just have like a gut feeling that that's gonna happen. Corporations are people too. It's gonna get removed. Uh, again, it's gonna have AT. I'm expecting AT to be there as well. Triant. Okay. Oh boy. That's going to be interesting. So if it moves to the melee row, 
it gets healed. No, it gets, it's gonna damage somebody. Oh, shoot. Okay, then. Um, I might just want to play a Forest Horn Scribe here. Hopefully it doesn't get removed. And then I'm gonna get my coins worth. By denying penance, you confirm your guilt. So the way I would typically want to play this deck is to um kind of collect as much coin as I can. If that makes sense. Okay, so it's not looking to remove any of my units, which is actually pretty good. But there's the boost. The good news is I can go down to four, four cards before I have to pass, so... So if I do keep on playing, and I do get rid of my bronze cards, well, he's already played two silver, two gold cards. So, and I'm trying to save all my gold cards till the end. Although I might need to play one gold card, maybe, just to get Roach out. And it might end up being Imka. Abandon your false guns! Okay, that's all I can do for the time being. Mahakam! Mahakam! Um, okay, so what's the move here to make? The thing is, I don't want to play the summon. I might actually just end up passing here. I think I've made enough income with the coin. Because if I were to keep playing, like, what would I play next? He might actually make me play into the third round, in which case I'm going to kind of have to go all out. Like, that includes summoning circle. I'm kind of tempted just to play Keeper of the Flame here. Because there's no way am I going to pay the four coin, right? Yeah. Grantos strength. I will not pay the coin. That one. He venerates not the fire. I feel like if I can make him keep playing, it might benefit me more. He hasn't played any special cards yet, so I don't know what kind of special cards he's holding. But I think this is a safe safe place to stop playing. So I will pass on here. So it is going to be a long round three. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Okay, that's the bur this is the brother that I want to take off. Oh shoot. I forgot about this. Okay, so if he ends up dry passing, I'm gonna have to play Horst. Yeah, Horst is the card to play. It gets off Roach. Um, and I do prefer Ewald for the final round just because of... Uh, I prefer to disrupt them than to boost myself. Because if I don't provide them with any disruption, they can kind of go rampant whenever they want. So he does decide to dry pass, which is perfect, actually. So that is when I play Horst. Anyone can be bored. Only questions of what... And I cannot play Congregation just yet. I don't really need you. Eavesdrop's not too bad. What, 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 what am I fishing for? Oh, shoot, the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, the Grand Inquisitor would be a good one. Oh no, but I have the Summoning Circle. No, but I also have Eavesdrop, so... Do I have enough coin income? I think I do. With Imka. Yeah, so I can... Okay. Well, yeah, that wasn't... That didn't exactly end off that well. That's unfortunate. I think this is going to get removed. I have a feeling... Whenever I get to play, it always gets removed. That's why I don't ever like playing artifacts. I never get lucky with keeping them on the field. They always end up getting removed. And I guess it also depends on the kind of deck you're playing against, but the thing is, you don't really get a good idea. I hate you. Okay. Yes, you so I hope that he still doesn't have... <laughs> so 
I just did that for the extra four because I think there are. Oh, but he might have the like moon dust or something, which can mess me up. What's your move here? He might have um, Crushing Trap. Or Pitfall Trap, I should- No, Ryan! it's Crushing Trap, yeah. Yeah, why would you move it to the other row like that? The problem is, uh, Imka's gonna get hit with this card. Which is gonna suck. Oh, you know what? We've all obeyed. There we go. This is exactly why I keep you walled. This is exactly why I keep you walled. And now that I have no coin, actually, I'm free to play Congregation as I like. But I think the better play is, is to play the Artifact first. Yeah, the Artifact is should be played first, just so I can get boosted every time I spawn now. And honestly, I don't know what eavesdrop's gonna get me. And there's the garrison. That's the play with Francesca. It's always garrison. Um, Let's play the fire priest here. And then we spawn more. You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. This might not end well for my opponent, actually. This is the power of Swarm. <laughs> this is the true power of Swarm. So I guess, I, in all honesty, I don't think Imka's that useful here. I don't think she's gonna be that useful. Just because of, like, congregation and such. So maybe I maybe that's why I don't often see Imka played, but you know it's it's sort of it's sort of an insurance policy, in a way. That's kind of what she is here. I honestly feel like Ewald's, um he's done his job. I think. Do I play Congregation now? I think I do, cause I know Ewald's gonna get removed. Yeah, I play Congregation now. Yes, you! Have you made your offering? I don't care if Ewald gets removed, honestly. I think he kind think of did his job like already. Wow, he hasn't been removed, huh? The problem is, I'm gonna end up having so many cards. I don't know which card to put back. I think I put back the Disciple. Just cause I, I feel like if I keep, if I had kept going... Actually, I don't know. Because summoning circle's coming up. Wait, do I have any 6 provision? Or less? Oh yeah, casino bouncers, but... Perfect! The only problem is... I have no need for coin anymore. So it's kind of useless, I think. And the problem is he's catching up too. That costs 10. He's not going to be of any use. Shoot. Okay. I mean, I can use Imka and then just pay the tribute. Or the fee, I should say, not tribute. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So I'm not paying anything now for a procession, so which is pretty good. 
The problem is that garrison play can still come. Um, any f good four costs that I can borrow? Not really. I mean, you know what? At wait, no. At this point, I might as well take out the disciple. I never should have gotten rid of him in the first place. Yeah, I should have never gotten rid of him in the first place. I was just afraid that I wasn't going to have any spots left for units. Interesting trap. By denying penance, you confirm your guilt. Come, brothers. Yeah, We've not it's, I was afraid it was going to be a pitfall trap. I was afraid that it was going to be a pitfall trap. I can no longer pay the fee, can I? Yeah. That's okay. Alright. The problem is he still has Garrison. Um, he can drain the boost, which is actually pretty bad. There it is. Oh, he needs to beat 6 then. I think he does. Shoot. That's gonna bite. Yeah, and there it is. That was a big play. Dang. That, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah, I don't think Imka's that needed in this deck now that I actually think about it. That was a good game though. Oof, I don't have a I don't have a good track record with this deck. That's tough. That's actually tough. That's okay though. Hopefully we do better in our second match. The fire cleanses. Yeah, you can tell I still have a lot to learn for playing um, Syndicate decks. I mean, it's not that I, I didn't really... Like, I don't think I played the deck that bad. Okay, I have both I have both the Brasati brothers again, which is good. Now that I think about it, I actually think Imka should be a first round play. Five less. So he has four, eight, twelve, sixteen. He has sixteen tactics in his Ooh. That's gonna be a lot of removal. Now that I think about it, that's gonna be a lot actually it's gonna be a lot and a lot of removal. Hmm. Let's do Imka here. And let's give her the shield. Just because I don't... He can he can seize it whenever he likes, so... Actually, if he sees it, it's not going to do him anything. Like, it'll mess me up a little bit, but... And then I can always pay the fee for the casino bouncer. So instead of paying for insanity, I can just pay the fee, which is good. I strive above all to be just. Are you going to seize it? Yeah. I th I thought he would seize it. Fancy a game of Kaviri Windlet. The problem with that is because I went first. It's because I went first now that this might actually mess me up a little bit. Hell cats Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he has coin. But he's not gonna he's not gonna do anything with it though. Oof, I think I'm in a quite a predicament here. I'm actually in quite a predicament now that I think about it. Oh. 
Confirm your guilt! Okay, I think this is my opportunity. I have to pass. Yeah, I have to pass. But I like how that he used his leader's ability early, but unfortunately, I had to use my leader ability early. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. The problem is, if I keep playing, he's gonna have the edge on me. Cutthroat. I don't mind this. The problem is, I'm not used to- like, I'm not good with this deck, to be honest. Like, if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not the best with this deck yet. I'm trying to learn it still. The problem is, I need the Sacred Flame or the Grand Inquisitor. I need them both. Otherwise, I'm actually gonna be pretty useless here. The, the problem is he can pass whenever he wants. Must record. And I don't. Yeah, he's not gonna dry pass. Between brothers, harmony rarely reigns. Worst and you old. They look nothing alike. Wait, not you. Oh, a little bit. Perfect. He passes, but I don't plan to. Drive off the mages. And their foul magicry. Hey, where do you think you're going? Just want to get rid of all the bronzes for now. Again, I want you all because of that disruption capability. So, okay, I got the sacred flame, fireborn scribe, and a tax collector. Perfect. Oh, what? What? I, oh, the granite. The problem is, I need- I also need that Grand Inquisitor. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. Should I try going for him? What do I get rid of? Eternal Fire Priest? Maybe. But I risk getting a card that I don't want. So that's a big risk. Got him. Nailed it. Perfect. Now we can start setting up, kind of. Oh, wrist is killing me. It's gonna get removed. I'm actually ex anticipating that. So if it gets removed, then so be it. But like, I have other pieces here that I absolutely- Actually, you know what? I should have played- Ooh, I should have played the, um... Oh yeah, he also has a lot of tactics in his hand. That's also pretty scary. He has five tactics. The good news is he used his, um, order already on Imka. And honestly, she- <laughs> There's a reason why Imka's not so much- so used in these kinds of decks. Because I felt like I had enough income for coin. Great. You're worse than children. I'm not worse than children. What are you talking about, man? Um, it's not the time to play Ewald. It's gonna get- I have a feeling it's gonna get hit with, um... Yeah, it's- it's gonna- it's going to get hit. I already know that. But I'm kind of thinking of saving it, to be honest. Yes, you. Have you made your offering? Yes. I need I think I needed to set up the sacred flame. If he removes the fire sworn scribe, then so be it. Marching orders into the cutthroat. 
stick in a pig. Squirrels and yeah, I I thought I thought I thought he would target it. I had a feeling he would. Idle hands are evil's playthings. Remove his cowl, then his ears. I need to get rid of Johnny. The problem is Igor the Igor the Hook's gonna be a problematic here. Wait, which of the bronze cards that I'm gonna have is gonna help you? Well, I mean, he's got two coins from Imka, so I guess there's that. Oh wait, no, never mind. Never mind. It's it's not from the deck. It's from the faction. I take that back. I take back everything I said. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Because I know he's going to remove my deck, some of my cards, um, I think I'm okay with kind of going full on swarm. Like, like I wanna get out my other Eternal Fire Disciple. The question is, is that the best play? I think it is. Yeah, you know let's do it. You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. The problem is, I'm always gonna have one coin now. I'm never gonna have zero anymore. Having the odd number of coins actually kind of hurts. Oh, wow, that was big. That was a big tactic he played there. Dang. That sucks. Penance, you confirm your guilt. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I might lose I might lose this one too, honestly. I might actually lose this one too. Bribery. You know what? I need to, I should have gotten rid of Johnny a long time ago. Not getting rid of Johnny was is costing me. Grand Inquisitor. He got it. That's huge. I need I sh I should have been getting rid of Johnny. In the sewers, begging like a beast. I did not anticipate that. I should have anticipated that much sooner. And even as Vigos muzzle. Oh my gosh. This is getting kind of ridiculous. This Seriously? Oh man. Come brothers, we've not to fear. Well, I'm taking on two very strong decks, so <laughs> I took on two very strong decks and this was like not the strongest, so yeah, I take I have to take the L. I lost. I lost really bad on this one too. 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. I lost this one. Like, big time lost this one. Now, getting rid of Johnny actually was pretty costly. I should have aimed to got rid of Johnny earlier. There's the garrison.
Up having the coin is pretty useless now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay, so it's better to get rid of that. Put that in there. I mean, beating one is not gonna take much, so. Ah, uh, I took the L there. That's an L for me. Two L's. Two L's for this deck. Um, but that's okay, though. That's okay. Yeah, he beat me by a crap ton there. Well, that's um, not the best showcasing of this deck, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, but like, I thought I'd try it out, you know, just see what it'd be like. Remember, I'm not an expert at Gwent, unfortunately. Um, I'm just sort of trying out decks for fun to see what they would turn out like. And I know this deck definitely has some potential, it's just that I'm probably not using it well enough. Anyway, if you guys have any um, suggestions as to how this deck could be improved, do let me know in the comment section below. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing because uh, I do enjoy making deck videos whether I win or lose. Chances to tell me that I'm going to take a lot of L's. So. But that's okay though. It's the fun of it. It's card games. You can't win them all. Anyway, I'm signing out. See you guys in the next one.